In this video, we will be going over the Object Viewer, which is a convenient dialog for managing components on a chart from a single location. It allows you to do operations such as deleting, a rearranging order, visibility, and locking components. And all this can be done from a convenient dialog window. So let's take a look at the Object Viewer. You can access it via the View, Object Viewer menu. Now you'll also notice there's a shortcut key here. Depending whether you're on a Mac or a PC, it'll be different. Click on Object Viewer. You'll see now that we don't have any objects on the chart. As we start adding objects on the chart or components, they will start showing up in the Object Viewer. So let's add a few things here. Uh, let's add a study. Maybe we'll add another one. Okay, so we have two studies. We have a line component here. Now let's also draw some boxes. We'll draw this box here. We'll right click. Let's put a color to it. Let's do red. Now you'll notice if we go back to the object viewer, the table or the list starts to populate with all the different objects. Okay, so let's try a few more things before we go back there. Let's draw another box. We'll make this one a tad bigger. Okay, let's move it over here. So it covers this box. We'll change the format. Fill color to blue. Okay, so let's go to the object viewer now. At the top, you'll notice there's a filter field here. Now you can filter by field. For instance, if I were just to type in box, then you'll notice I only see the box components. Okay, now you can also filter by visibility, on or off, true or false, or as I just showed you here, by type. Okay, so let's try a few things here. So let's first select the study. The first option we have here is to delete. So if I were to select this, the study is moved from the chart, as you can see. We also have here edit visibility. What this allows us to do is to change the visibility for that specific component. Right now we have it set to equals one day. Now we have here two options, and this has to do to the order of the objects. So we have move to front and move to back. So in this case, if I were to select one of these boxes, the first one, and move to front, you'll notice the red box is on top of the blue box. And if I move it to back, then I get the red box behind the blue box. This is convenient for overlapping components. You can also lock a component so that you don't accidentally delete it. So if I were to lock this box now, if I go back in here and try to move it or delete it, I cannot because I've locked it. Okay, and you'll notice here under the locked column that the lock status is reflected. So if I unlock it now, it is now unlocked. Okay, we also have the option of bringing up the properties. So if I want to go, let's say, and change let me select the blue box, uh, actually this one. That's the blue box. Let's go to the red one. And if I were to change, let's see, make this green. And now let's bring this one to the front just to show you that again. You'll notice now the box is green. And we can do that change the properties for any of the components listed here. So if I were to bring up the properties for the trend line, you'll notice here these are trend line properties. And of course, I can always change the color of that if I wanted to. And you'll notice here that it's now green. Okay, we also have here the hidden column. So if I want to hide any of the components, by clicking the status to hidden, they're no longer visible. As you'll notice, that trend line is gone. 
Maybe we can hide one of these boxes here. Now you notice that only the blue box is visible. Okay, so that's the whole idea with the object viewer and it becomes really handy, especially when you have a long list of components that are listed on here and you try to isolate it to, to make a change to its properties or you try to delete it, you'll find that this comes in really handy in, in honing in on the component that you want to make changes to. Okay, so that, that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next.